Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Man Money Shots. Never the man cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys the defense that I'm using. I'm going to keep it that simple because I don't want to say it's the best defense in the game or nothing like that because I have so many sensitive people in my comment section these days. This is definitely one of the best defenses in the game in my experience. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys want to see more defensive videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Now, the plays from today's video come out of my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. That's right. I already got an ebook out for offense and defense, and it's Kansas City on both both of them and you can download them instantly right now simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment the formation i'm going to show you guys today is the big nickel over g that's right the b nog if you guys watched my channel last year this was my number one defense and it's been my number one defense probably to use for like the last couple of addons and since i was using this defense last year i went straight to it and it's just as effective as it was last year so if you're running it last year with me i recommend you to start off with it this year in madden 25 as well now i don't have time to set up my audibles or anything so i just pick a cover zero blitz thinking i could bum blitz this guy because a lot of times early in games you can just send man zero blitzes and people don't know how to handle it but this guy clearly does as i think that tight end was supposed to be my man and he cooks me on the very first play Bruh. while juking me out with a very slow tight end so when he calls hurry up i switch out of that and try to go to cover two man and i cover this guy really well but then when i get bumped by the receiver i lose all my acceleration and let this guy get wide open but luckily he goes out of bounds and lets me go back to the huddle so i can set up my audibles now i do keep the ss linebacker blitz in my audibles because it is a very good blitz in case i want to send the house i I also keep the cup for quarters on my audibles as my number one run defense since the safeties will always play the run as long as you don't guess pass. And I also keep the cover six trap in my audibles because this is a fully matching split coverage defense because the cover two side and the cover four side were both matched. So I'll throw this defense in every once in a while when I really want to confuse my opponent. I also use the SS Blitz 2, which is going to be a very similar concept to the main play, which is the fifth and active play that I choose every single time in the SS Blitz 3, as I think this is the best combination of a blitz and coverage in the formation. Now in the first play, I don't even really get to set the blitz up because I don't find it's best to use this blitz when you're going against an empty backfield look. So instead, I just use the cornerback as an extra defender to cover over the middle but i just want to show you guys the difference between cover three match and cover three regular number one cover three match will match just about any route even a hitch route here which typically will get open underneath cover three cornerbacks since the cornerbacks are designed to drop back but on this play since i have cover three match out there this cornerback will match the short route as you can see we cut that play off and we're going the other way for a pick six on just the third play of the game After that pick six, he appears to turn into a bit of a runner for a while, and he has a lot of success as he breaks off almost a 10-yard run on the first play. So I switched my best run defense on the next play in the cover four match, as this is the only defense where the safeties will drop down in run support, making any cover four the best defense to call against run plays in the game. But matching principles are kind of iffy right now, especially when it comes to cover four match, so I find it's best to hard flat underneath, as this will both override the matching principles of the safeties to make sure that they just don't let any behind them, and it will also make sure that the outside linebackers and hard flats will do a better job of containing the edge and you can see this safety does exactly what i was expecting to do as he walks right down into the hole where the running back is designed to go but he's a horrible safety and the running back just runs right around him to break off a very big run as he gets inside the red zone on the very next play again as this guy obviously has a lot of stick skill but i don't care about giving up yards i care about giving up points that's why every single defense that i call is designed to defend the end zone and on the very next play since he only has 10 yards to go I go back to hard flatting only this time from cover three although I don't really get to set up the blitz because the cornerback's way too far outside but that doesn't matter as the coverage adjustments work perfectly and shut this play down as we get another interception effectively ending the game as he must have ran Camille on the very next play once he saw me in the eye form close <laughs> not knowing that I typically pass from this formation as we throw it right over the top to take a 14-0 lead and end the game 
Now, I can hear the haters already saying it's the Eagles. So, luckily, in the next game, I get a matchup against the Eagles. So, we have a mirror match. No real excuse here. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the blitz. But before I do, I'm going to show you guys my substitutions. You're going to want to make sure that you put your fastest cornerback or safety in this spot here. And for me, that's Quinion Mitchell. And since the Eagles have horrible linebackers, I'm also going to put one of my safeties in at the other linebacker spot opposite Devin White so that I have somebody that can at least play the pass. On the first play, I try to set up the blitz by pinching the defensive line, which is D-pad to the left and down. But before I can get the cornerback outside, he hikes the ball. And you can see the cornerback still almost gets to the quarterback, even though he wasn't even in the right position before the play started, as he swings it out to the halfback in the flats. And once again, makes the guy miss to get the first down. To make this play most effective, you're going to want to turn off auto flip in your coaching adjustments and flip this play in the huddle so that the running back and the cornerback that's blitzing are on opposite sides of the field. This can both help in run defense, as often the running back will try to take an inside zone and the cornerback will cut him off in the direction that he's traveling but it could also help in the blitz. As it's more difficult for running backs to pick up blitzes coming from the other side of the field as they often won't see them. He runs the ball in the next play though and you can see that the pinch defensive alignment is very good at stopping inside runs from shotgun looks. Then on second and long since he's given it to the running back on every single play I decide to heart flat to try to take that away. Sit your ass down. I get it bro I'm an Eagles fan we're all excited to use Saquon. Welcome Saquon, we are so happy to have you. I don't like football anymore. On the next play, we actually get the whole blitz set up in this time, as all you want to do is pinch defensive line once again, which is D-pad to the left and down, and then just make sure the cornerback is somewhere about five yards outside of the tackle or blocking tight end. Although we already seen that it really doesn't matter where the cornerback is and he'll still get pressure. Then you want to use the middle linebacker who's in a yellow three-rack hook and drop down over the center so that you can hopefully pull one of the blocker's attention before dropping back into coverage. And you can see here how good the blocking is from the running back as this cornerback just runs right around him effectively ending the drive on offense i used the speed boost glitch to score in the very next play if you guys don't know how to do this i made a video about this already and i'll leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that break yourself fool as we take a quick 7-0 lead. I mean, really quick. You saw how quickly that guy got across the field? And now this blitz has my man Jalen Hurts running for his life and throwing horribly inaccurate balls. One of the things you're going to see the most is people are going to typically going to try to bulk up and run against this, which can be effective, as this is typically a better pass defense than run defense, especially if you're coming out in a three tight end set like my opponent is here. So if somebody decides to start doing this against you, just be aware of that and try to match personnel size, as my opponent pounds the rock to get all the way down inside the 20 before I switch over to a 3-4 under to shut that down. And now that he can't do that anymore, he decides to do the next thing which most people will do, and that's to try to spread this defense out with empty back formations, which I already mentioned. It can give this play problems based off of the fact that you have to hover the center with one of the few zones, a lot of times leaving receivers uncovered. So since you don't want to do that, I typically just use one of the blitzers and let the front four get pressure on their own. As we don't really get any pressure, but we do cut off the route. And then on third and 12, it goes back to a regular shotgun look, allowing me to set the blitz up properly. And we don't only get pressure from the cornerback as we also get pressure from the defensive end on the other side as the quarterback gets hit by both of them on the next two plays. <laughs> Creating a turnover on downs in my territory. On the next play, I read what looks like a cover zero. So I go right back to the speed glitch, and we're going right back to the house on the very next play once again to take a quick 14-0 lead, as you really need to know how to do this right now until they patch it. Now that my opponent's down two scores early, he's going to try to spread me out, and I'm going to try to send this blitz anyway, even though I know it's not a good idea. I know that this seam flat is going to cover this slot receiver, so all I have to do is get back on this tight end. So I cheat down over the center one more time, and luckily the tight end runs a double move gotcha, bitch. that I'm all over as we get an interception, and we're going the other way to start the next drive in scoring field goal range already. But my man plays defense and holds me to three, which I'll take because I'm not really expecting him to score on me. My man tries to put together a heroic effort on the next drive to get down the field and actually gets a couple of pretty good catches on his way as that probably should have been a knockout there <coughs> so since he's starting to cut up my cover three i decided to switch over to cover six trap to give him something new to look at and it works perfectly as he gets confused enough to have to run around and take a sack i don't like overusing this play but on the next play i do it again as we almost get an accidental switch stick interception oh you almost had it on third and 19, we go back to that money cover three blitz. And sure enough, that cornerback and defensive end tandem is putting in work. Ah! 
As we get a sack to push him back to fourth and 33. I do the cover three blitz one more time on the next play, and I don't even get the full set of it as I don't even hover the linebacker over the middle and drop back as a defensive tackle, only sending four. And we still get an instant sack, but luckily it was a turnover on downs. It would have been fifth and 50. Before icing the game on the very next play, as we try to go outside with a stretch run before it gets cut off, and we cut back inside the other way with Saquon Barkley, as it's going to be a long year playing against me in Philadelphia. <laughs> So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more Madden 25 tip videos like this, I'll have them popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.